One of the new materials we've launched this year is Ultim 1010. It's part of the Ultim family materials and it's an aerospace grade material. One of the key features of Ultim 1010 is the fact that it's a 200 degree melting point. So it's one of the hottest thermoplastics we can work with at the moment. Ultim 1010 is also FDA approved. It's one of the first materials we've had on the FDM range of materials that's had FDA approval. So it can be sterilized and used for medical applications. We've been using Ultim 9085 for a couple of years now. The main advantage of Ultim 9085 is its applications within the aerospace industry. It's V1 flammability rating and it's also FST approved. The great advantage Ultim 9085 has is its ability to go on live aircraft parts. So we have flight approval for Ultim 9085 as a material. One of the key features of these two new materials is being able to use them for jigs, fixtures and carbon layup tooling. Carbon layup tooling has been an area we've been working in for the last few years, but we've always struggled with the higher temperature materials. Ultim 1010 now enables us to get into that carbon layup market with a material that can be put into an autoclave for carbon layup. This is Kydex that has been moulded over the tool in one go. This allows our customers to produce rapid, short run and long run tooling at very low cost, giving the ability to get parts to their customers at a much quicker speed. Another key area for our customers has been the ability to create sheet metal forming tools in one go. This is an example of a sheet metal form for aluminium sheet metal forming printed on a Fortis 450 machine. The material we've used here is polycarb and polycarb can take up to 6,000 psi straight down onto it. We've been producing soluble cores for carbon fibre for quite a few years now and most of the F1 and motorsport industry has been using it quite a lot. But the new materials has given us the ability to produce layup tools very quickly at low cost to the customer. These layup tools are able to go into the autoclave due to the high temperature variance within the new materials.